Okay, everyone watching this video may be witnessing the construction process of the world's first amphibious assault ship with electromagnetic ejection. Recently, a few seemingly ordinary photos posted by a Chinese netizen caused an uproar in China, and there were also discussions on foreign social media. The photo is the manufacturing site of Hudong Shipyard. Various experts captured a photo of one of the unremarkable components. Everyone is keenly aware that it is likely to be a 076 amphibious assault ship component with electromagnetic ejection. In the distant view of the photo, there is obviously a section of some kind of ship. In the shipyard, this kind of modular construction is a common scene, but this section has attracted everyone's attention. This is a V shaped groove, which is not seen in ordinary ships and can only be seen on aircraft carriers that are about to install catapults. This structure is clearly visible in the segmented module in the upper left corner of this image. If you still can't imagine this structure, I will add a photo of the installation site of the American Electromagnetic Catapult so that you can understand it when you look at it. This V-shaped groove is the installation position of the ejection rail of the aircraft carrier. The total length is about 70 meters. However, judging from the specifications of this component, it does not reach the size of the aircraft carrier. And there are rumors that China will use electromagnetic ejection on the 076 amphibious assault ship. This photo is basically the evidence of this rumor. Obviously, electromagnetic ejection is not for helicopters, but for fixed-wing aircraft. An amphibious assault ship equipped with electromagnetic ejection will immediately become a light aircraft carrier. This will also become the world's first amphibious assault ship equipped with electromagnetic ejection. As for the detailed size, will it be the same as that on the 003 aircraft carrier? In my opinion, as the first catapult on an amphibious assault ship, it may not be measured by an aircraft carrier. In today's video, let's talk about the world's first amphibious assault ship with electromagnetic ejection. Viewers who are not familiar with amphibious assault ships first come to understand the functions of this surface ship. When landing on the beach, the carrier-based aircraft of the amphibious assault ship can be directly used to destroy the enemy's shore-based missile positions. Helicopters landed vertically to occupy the commanding heights and beach fortresses, and finally the hovercraft and amphibious vehicles of the landing ships occupied the beachhead, and gradually advanced with the cooperation of the Air Force. China's ship integrated landing ship 071, amphibious assault ship 075 and 076 under construction, in fact, the functions of the three are slightly different. 071 belongs to the dock landing ship. It can be used as the mothership of the air cushion landing craft to carry soldiers, infantry fighting vehicles, main battle tanks, etc. for landing operations. It can also carry amphibious vehicles. The hangar can accommodate four helicopters, and the deck can accommodate two helicopters to take off and land. Judging from the appearance of 071, it looks like a cruiser, but the helicopter takeoff and landing position on the deck tells us that this surface ship 071 is mainly for amphibious landing, while the configuration of 075 is for amphibious assault. Small helicopters can not only perform transportation tasks, but also carry out attack tasks. From the perspective of equipment configuration, the amphibious attack performance of the 075 is much stronger than that of the 071. The 076 has a slightly higher displacement than the 075, and the weapon configuration has also changed, but the biggest change is the electromagnetic ejection. Obviously, electromagnetic ejection is not for helicopters, but for fixed-wing aircraft. An amphibious assault ship equipped with electromagnetic ejection will immediately become a light aircraft carrier. This will also become the world's first amphibious assault ship equipped with electromagnetic ejection. There may be many viewers who feel that the 076 is equipped with an electromagnetic catapult. For example, none of the famous amphibious assault ships such as the French Mistral-class amphibious assault ship, the American Wasp-class amphibious ships, and the Korean Docto class use a catapult. Isn't it crazy to install electromagnetic catapults on amphibious assault ships? But in fact it is very necessary. 
China's amphibious assault ship needs to compete with the U.S. military's WASP class. The size of the WASP class is 257 meters, the displacement is 41,000 tons, and the maximum speed is 22 knots. Earlier, the WASP could only carry helicopters and air cushion landing craft, but now it can carry the latest fixed wing aircraft. In amphibious support attacks, the combat effectiveness of fixed wing aircraft is much higher than that of helicopters, and its survivability is also much stronger. Up to 22 V 22 Osprey tilt rotor aircraft or 16 F 35B fighter jets can be configured on the WASP class. This combat effectiveness is almost equivalent to a light aircraft carrier. So only one WASP-class amphibious assault ship plus destroyer with submarines, it is basically possible to form a small task force capable of sealing off a large area of sea. China's 076 also has to reach this level, but China does not have vertical takeoff and landing fighter jets, nor does it have tilt-wing aircraft like the V-22 Osprey, but China has quite mature electromagnetic ejection. Therefore, it is a matter of course for the amphibious assault ship to be ejected by electromagnetic ejection. Which fixed wing aircraft? With the electromagnetic catapult, what kind of fighter jet is it equipped with? Will it be able to carry J 35 fighter jets in the future? Some clues may be seen from the power configuration and lift of 075 and 076. The Type 075 amphibious assault ship uses 416 PC 2 6B diesel engines with a single power of 12 megawatts, a total power of 48 megawatts, 65,000 shaft horsepower, and a maximum speed of about 22 to 23 knots. There are currently no specific parameters for the Type 076 amphibious assault ship, but there are two 21 megawatt gas turbines and two 6 megawatt diesel engines and a 30-ton inboard lift from the Chinese People's Liberation Army's weapons bidding website in mid-2020. Judging from the 30-ton inboard lift, it seems that it is prepared for the future medium-sized carrier aircraft J-35, but it does not seem to be the case in terms of the power configuration of the 076, because the power is only about 5 megawatts higher than that of the 075. Moreover, the tonnage of 076 is slightly larger than that of 075, so it can be judged that the speed is roughly the same as that of 075, which is about 22-23 knots. A fighter jet on an aircraft carrier needs a high speed of 32 knots to take off, and the wind on its deck can allow the fighter jet to take off with a full load. But the speed of 22 knots is much worse, and it is impossible for fighter jets to take off with a full load. Therefore, in the future, 076 can only carry unmanned attack aircraft and other unmanned fighter jets. However, it is problematic to understand the 076 amphibious assault ship in such a superficial way because a difference of 10 knots means that the speed will decrease by about 18.52 km per hour, or 5 meters per second. The J-35 can take off from the 076 amphibious assault ship with a slightly reduced load. Otherwise, what is the 30-ton lift on 076 for? To put it simply, the 076 amphibious assault ship equipped with electromagnetic catapults and drones, which can even carry J-35 in the future, is basically invulnerable in the world. Even the WASP class of the US military can only be its defeat. In addition, 076 is not to confront the US military. Its purpose is the Taiwan Strait. The first priority is to destroy the beachhead fortifications. The drones and armed helicopters it carries tilt a large amount of ammunition to the opponent's position. The transport helicopters and air cushion landing craft sent Chinese soldiers to the opposite bank with lightning speed and established positions, and then advanced inland, connecting with the airborne troops and special forces who arrived earlier. Occupy the Taiwan government before the United States and Japan have reacted. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.